shit hard as fuck, man. You cannot man, hate on that joint, I'm man. Not gonna, I'm not That's gonna, tip. I will that's not, not hate T.I. On. That's tip. You know what? I want to quote. Uh, go ahead. What's his name? Uh, fuck, we interviewed him. White guy. White guy that signed Nas. What's fuck his name? Oh, Search. MC Search, where he said, there's a reason why people who are signed are there. You have to remember that. And I remember that. But what I'm going to, my argument is, he signed, he has no place on this show. Dude, it's hot. It's hot. That? What do you mean, though? It's he's not, signed. He's got that's a not major. Going, that's not going to end up on an album. That is going to be on the album. You I doubt it. Yo, it ain't oh coming out God. till August, so I doubt he's going to drop some shit in March that's going to be on our album in August. If it is, then I'll apologize in August. All right. I doubt it. I this gotta, shit's going to be me, on some fucking make note of this. DJ drama. Watch. It's a hot-ass album. It is a, I mean, a hot-ass track. That is a fucking crazy yeah, track. Yeah, I mean, he back spitting hard how he used to, man. I like that it shit, It doesn't man. belong on the show. He got a little album. edge. Man, fuck that. I disagree wholeheartedly, <laughs> man. We could touch out. We on a Main Street show. Man. Tune in April 1st. Let's fuck out of here, man. Kevin Kev, what's popping, baby? What's going on, Double H? What's hey, up, man? Not much, man. How you feeling? Got your package out to you, man. I know. I got the email right on, Jay. <laughs> yeah, that's what's I up, man. I in to talk about the um the uh, Ice Cube in the West Coast shit. Oh, yeah, man. You the West Coast representative, the number one. Go ahead, man. I think what I put in the, in the chat, I think Ice Cube got to kind of disconnect with the uh, West Coast Younger MCs right now, man. I think it's a, a age thing, man. Tell you the truth. You don't think it's a money, a status thing? Kind of go hand That's in hand. Cool. I just, I just think Ice Cube is kind of irrelevant right now, man. I think you got to just know when to say when to tell you the truth. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what do you mean, like when to drop out gracefully? Yeah, exactly. I mean, nobody really buying no, nobody buying hip hop albums. Period. Right now, it's an all time low, but. Ice Cube ain't got that much relevance and to turn his back on. I don't know. That's kind of like something kind of personal happened because he said, I'm turning my back against all the youngsters on the West Coast. That sounds kind of personal. Yeah, but he, that's, why I, that's why I thought maybe it was him and Glasses because Glasses has been the one kind of throwing stones on interviews and shit like that. But if it's Glasses, then be a man and call out Glasses. Don't turn exactly. your back on all the youngsters. I mean, all the youngsters. Yeah. yeah, that's not cool. I mean, that's, a general, that's a general blanket statement. So, I mean, I think it's kind of something kind of personal. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, we say you turn this back on all. Because the West Coast, they putting it down and the youngsters coming up. I just think it's an age deficit. This is an age deficit right now with IQ. He's kind of irrelevant, man. Yeah. I mean, it Not, could be. I but, I mean, I ain't going to front, though, Kev. The new album that he got coming out, it sounds like he's taking it back, like throwback style to the 90s West Coast. He said people ain't going to even be ready. For how that's what he got to do now. That's what he got to do now because his last couple albums, his last one I was the one doing that, and he did change his style up. And he said, I saw that interview when he said, I'm taking it back to the West Coast, I'm getting all West Coast producers, and he will turn it you know, back on people that's reaching out and reaching out, like doing stuff that's not West Coast. But he did the same shit on a. Uh, uh, on a, can you feel it? I mean, put your back into it. And he changed his style up a little bit. Oh, yeah. To to a, um, he, peeled, he turned his back. He he uh, tried to appeal to a broader audience, too, that wasn't West Coast. He put out a couple of albums that wasn't West Coast sounded. Yeah, he put out some singles that was, you know, more catered to the South, which was popping back at that time. You know what I'm saying? He he tried to, to touch other markets. So, I mean, I you know, I agree with you. To me, I, you know, from where I sit, Cube looks like the one that's at fault, and he just looked kind of... Like a salty, bitter. Yeah, exactly. I ain't gonna say bitter because he got the money, right but now. yeah, he's like an asshole. Yeah, an old asshole. Yeah, you got. <laughs> yeah, we, we, like you know, we we pay respects to our OGs, and you know, Ice Cube put it down. You know what I mean? We, you know, we, Ice Cube is like our Rock Kim on the West Coast. We speak of a um, major hip hop artist who changed the game and put it down. Ice Cube was our Rock Kim. You know what I mean? Yeah, no doubt. No doubt, yeah, I'm man. I'm going to touch on um about the uh, lower the prices of CDs because you know they had to lower the price of CDs. They didn't done that like five years ago. Cause yeah, they waited. I remember I used to love going to Blockbuster and uh, not Blockbuster, but uh yeah, Blockbuster Hollywood Video. I don't even know these warehouse called the warehouse. Going there, looking through CDs and being juiced to school, buying your albums, looking through that shit. Nobody buys CDs from local. It was way too outrageous on prices. Thanks, uh, you ain't lying. Then you. Yeah, then you really love going to the uh, block, uh, warehouse and looking for your favorite artists and digging through the CDs and buying your shit and you know, buying tapes. When those CDs came out, they was way too high, man. 
Uh, a, blockbuster music was the shit. Did you ever have a blockbuster music? No. Ours was warehouse music. Yeah. We used oh. to warehouse records. Where you could go shit. in and listen to any CD in the whole fucking store? They did the same type oh, of deal, man. They had listening dude. stations, so every Tuesday, whatever was new, you could listen to the whole uh, shit before you buy it. Shit, did you guys have lines up on the fucking stations and shit where you'd be like, God damn, hurry the fuck up, man. I want to listen uh, to the fucking I mean, Lance ain't that big, so we ain't had that problem, but I mean, shit was cool, though. I mean, I, I missed them days, really. Yeah, they oh. should they should have been dropped them prices though, man. Now it's kind of too late because hip hop albums, man, it's so gold. That's like going platinum these days. Yeah, it is. That shit didn't. The but, standard's uh, been lowered. All right, so so here's the thing though: if if uh if you could click buy it on iTunes and pay eight bucks for a whole album and have that shit shipped to you with a click of a button and download it, would you do it? Maybe oh. six dollars. $6 I would. Yeah. Kevin's, yeah. He, the he, shipping, he, man. He ain't lying, dog. The shipping. No, 6 and 7 is where they $6 need to be. $6 I would. I'm you, talking about just, shipping it, though. It don't matter. Uh, it's just a CD. It's just a CD. You a know CD what those shits cost to make? Oh, that's true. Those shits are like a blank. dollar. Right, you can it's, buy like a hundred CDs for twelve dollars. Blank so, CDs, you know what I mean? You pay for all How much could you buy? Like, has anybody bought an album? Have you bought an album off on iTunes? A whole album? How much of the? No, I bought no. I bought sing. I bought like songs like I couldn't find on um, other shit. Like when you buy a single for nine nine cents, I have done that. What's the average price for an album on iTunes? Like eight bucks or something? Something like that. Eight I between guess. eight and eleven. See, I man, think. if I had to, well, see, then there's there's some overhead there. See, that's what I'm saying. Eight is not that point, dog. Seven and six is where they need to be. If yeah. we being real, that's where they need to be at. It's where yeah. they need to be $6. at in a store. I get that in a store, but you can't. I mean, for the iTunes situation, people aren't. People are just gonna stop going to the fucking store because we're I'm lazy. I'm saying fuck the shipping. I, see, you the one. I, I don't. I mean, think about it. iTunes takes thirty percent. They get you get seventy cents on the dollar from iTunes. How are you gonna send a CD for seven bucks and cover? I will tell you right I mean, now, though, on, if they man. go to six dollars, people are gonna say fuck an iTunes. I'm, I mean, I wouldn't yep. buy it online. I'll go back to the store. You're gonna drive all the way I over to Best between, Buy. Fuck yeah, it's between ten minutes. Six and eight dollars. Between six and eight dollars, the CD, the, the city business could be back in business. Between six and eight is fair. If I'm getting, a, yeah, if I'm getting a case and I get some shit to look through and maybe like a bonus DVD thrown in, yeah, I'm gonna go get that. It's fuck an iTunes. For real, yeah. and that's what they, that's where they come in because they they're losing money to iTunes. Yeah, because iTunes is taking they, it's guys. too easy. Yeah, because a lot of kids. I mean, that's that's part of the problem too is that people have no respect for like the the whole the work that goes into putting together an album anymore because you can just put one out in five seconds. Yeah. and pay some mixtape designer motherfucker to make a cover art for you and put it out. But the thing is, is that I think. I don't, I don't think people are going to drive to the fucking store, man. I don't shit. care if you sell that shit for $4. People are not going to drive to the fucking store for it. Man, we'll see, man. We'll I don't see. think that's going to work, man. But uh, Kev, man, I appreciate right, the right. call, man. For sure. Keep it up, man. Keep doing what y'all do, man. I'm going to listen forever. All right, man. All right, man. Be Be easy. Wednesday's a day, man. See you. Right on. <laughs> Good shit with Kev. People, I finally sent this dude. We had the, the J-Mac <laughs> weight loss challenge back in, I don't know, last year. I lost the weight and gained it back in a year and then finally sent him the package day, yesterday or the day before yesterday. <laughs> All right, sir. Okay, we try to look out, though, man. You got a whole grip of music, dog. A I'm whole sorry, man. bunch of shit coming your way, Including man. Including Major's old group, man. Mid-mob section. That's oh, there it is. We threw some of that in it, too, man. It's, <laughs> it's all love. All love. Yes, sir. When we come back, man, we're going to talk a little, bit of, a little bit of boxing real quick, man. It's, I, I don't want to know how, how many of y'all watched that, that Pac-Man boo-boo Last week, and everybody was on Pac Man dick. He didn't cool it off now, man. Really? People, a few people still like. That's why Floyd was scared. Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> I ain't buying that bullshit, man. Well, so we gonna have our resident boxing expert call, Yo, you know, calling in, man. This is a Even though some people probably say Snoop ain't no expert, we'll see, man. But we got Don Will and Von P right here, man. Cheese steak. Put hype. Dot com. F one on nine. Yo. Talk about women and what they want me to do.